Hi, I'm Jakob Weisflug from Germany. I'm from Hildesheim. It's a city near Hanover. It's northwest Germany. And I'm a wood turner. Jakob Weisfog is the inaugural recipient of the Bob Stocksdale International Excellence in Wood Award. Bob Stocksdale was an internationally known wood turner. He would get exotic woods from his friends from around the world and would love using them to make his bowls. He worked in a small, humble shop in his basement. He would orient the wood on the lathe to bring out the unique characteristic of each piece of wood. Though he died 13 years ago at the age of 89, Bob Stocksdale's bowls are still immediately recognizable for their unmistakable elegant forms. I know the name Bob Stocksdale, but I never met him. I didn't know that there's the award. I got an email from Albert, says, yeah, congratulations, you got this award. And I, hmm, was a big surprise. Jakob Weisflog learned wood turning from his father Hans Weisflog. I watched him turning and so step by step I learned how to turn. Both are world-class artists in wood. Hans, do you have a lot of kids? Is, is Jakob just one of many? No, jo Jakob is one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yeah. Of course, Hans is one of a kind, but a different kind. No, I, I have a brother and a sister, but, but Jakob's the only, only child, yeah. Was he a good student as a kid when you were teaching him how to do this? Yeah, sure. He was. Yeah. He had the choice whether he gets pocket money or he turns pieces and I sell them for him. So he decided at the age of 11 to turn pieces. Do you remember this? Yes. It's one of the first pieces you made, yeah. 1997, it says on the bottom. 15. Wow. Hans Weitzlag is internationally known for his work that is solely designed and made on the lathe. Jakob, his son, has become equally famous for his work, which is extremely unique from his father's. Hans is usually made from one piece of wood that is turned and manipulated on the lathe as compared to Jakob, who uses multiple pieces of wood that are turned or fabricated into his architectural forms. Most well-known are his boxes. That's another major difference is Hans plays on the bowl form and Jakob plays on the container form. So in Germany, first you have to do an apprenticeship. That's what I did. After three years, you become a wood turner. And yeah, you have to find your own style. So sometimes it's not easy, but <laughs> there are not too many wood turners around in Germany. So, so that's much better for us or for me. <laughs> I like to go to the workshop and turn. It's always fun. I do mostly boxes. That's what I like most. The boxes were made from different kinds of wood put together. The combination from the color of the wood and the grain that fits. For example, it's African black wood and mesa birch. Black always fits with other colors. Mesa birch has a nice grain, although it's hard to get at the moment. It's easy to work with, not like African blackwood. It takes twice as much time. African blackwood grows in Tanzania and Mozambique, but we buy it in Germany at the wood dealer's place. He imports the wood and we buy it from him. I always liked making tops, all kinds of tops, so simple ones and complicated ones. And then I thought, hmm, why 
Maybe I can make a box, the spinning top box. So the lid is a spinning top. Yeah, people like them. All the birds, we got palm fruits. It's a fruit from a tikka palm and it's grown like this. So it's natural material and some of them are grown a little bit bent and they have this little beak. When I looked at it, I thought, yeah, it looks like a bird's head. So the head was ready, almost ready. All I had to do is turn the body and yeah, it's a box. You can take the head off. That's a bowl I made, put together from more than 50 spheres and more than 100 dolls. Everything is turned. I wanted to make a big piece from small pieces put together from different kinds of wood. The turning part was, was the easy thing, but to put all these parts together, that was difficult. Hans told me about one piece that Jakob made that recently received a big honor in Germany. This piece was in a show in Frankfurt. It's called Good Form 2016. Yeah, Jakob got a document for it that says this piece was chosen for uh, the exhibition. Pretty exclusive show. Yeah, it's for the best products on this fair. But it's a giant fair, so it's, it's really good to be in that show. How many people show? 50 maybe, but from several thousand. From all kinds of work, from furniture, ceramics, jewelry, everything is there. He was the only wood turner. How did you guys get connected with Albert? You can't get rid of him. He just came. <laughs> he came. He came, Albert came to Germany and visited us. First he brought me over to the United States and over the years we became friends. And Jakob was a little kid? Yes, it was in 93, so Jakob was 11 years old at this time. 97 when I came here the first time. And you were how old? 15. You've probably heard about the Oedipus complex. Are you at all upset that your son got the first Bob Stocksdale award and not yourself? I don't need it. I'm ready to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I got two big awards in Germany, the best you can, can get, and, and that's enough. I don't want more. I was just joking. I also. <laughs> Hans couldn't get the award, he's too old. It's for emerging and mid-career artists. Jakob is a emerging artist. And you're suggesting that Hans is an old man? Uh, I mean, I'm saying that he's yeah. well experienced. Who <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so also started at a very young age. We teach a little bit, travel to USA or Australia for symposiums. We get invited and do demos there. One of the good things is you see so many people around the world and then you go to places and it's great. Jakob told me he loves to listen to blues music while he's working. Judging by his art, it sure seems to bring out the best in him. Thank you very much and your work is unbelievably beautiful. Thank you.